Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK. Welcome to my channel. If you like what I talk about, please like, subscribe and share. And today I decided to talk about um, how, what is it? When is not cooperating with police considered obstructing the course of justice? Because I've seen, you know, when you keep seeing these videos that go around and you see a kid, he'll be saying, you know, look, I've got nothing to say, I, you know, don't search me, that kind of stuff. And the police can interpret that if they want to as perverting the course of justice or, you know, obstructing the course of justice. When do you know, at what point does exercising your rights to remain silent, to not be searched, that kind of stuff. When does that veer over into obstructing justice? Because a lot of our young boys are confused. A lot of young men are confused. You know, you're told by certain lawyers, don't say anything, just don't, don't comment. You know, they can't do this, police can't do that. They don't kind of say to them, look, if there's a section 60 out, they do. They are entitled to search you and they don't have to have a warrant or a valid reason. They can just stop and search you. They don't say that. So they send out the young boys without sufficient information. And as a result, a lot of them get criminalised by trying to exercise their rights and only to find that they're convicted of obstructing the course of justice. Because the police know that they have certain rights in certain situations, but they don't relay that to the young people who they're arresting. What they could say is, OK, in normal circumstances, you would have the right to remain silent. You have the right not to not to be searched without us explaining why we're stopping you and going through the whole protocol of identifying themselves and the reason for their search and what they're looking for. They could do that in an ordinary situation if that policeman was reasonable. And they could then say, look, in this particular circumstance, because there's been a murder or several murders or several knife crimes, we have now um, negated that rule. We don't have to follow that rule. So we are searching you to reduce crime in the area. And we have the right to do that without having a reason. And then I'm sure if they explained it properly and in a respectful tone, the young person who feels as though he's got rights to say, don't search me or who are you and why are you stopping me and why are you searching me? They wouldn't bother go through all of that. But it's not, young people are not informed. They're not informed of the changes of the law when they change. And even if they do send out something to say, oh, sex, Section 60 has been, is, is in effect, with immediate effect. And it's going to be in London, it's going to be in Birmingham, it's going to be in Manchester. What does that mean to a young person? Or what does that mean to the majority of people? It doesn't mean squat. It's only people who may be in the system who may understand what that means. And Section 60 simply means a policeman can stop and search your son, your husband, your brother, your nephew, your uncle, any male or female for that matter. And they don't have to have a reason. And it's under the knife crime. Goodness knows what other... Um, Ab, ab, what's it called? Ab, ab, ASBO, sorry. The ASBO law, antisocial behaviour. It all comes under that, under the curfew, curb and curfew legislation. All of that is bunged in, but nobody knows. So, I wanted people, well, especially young people or anybody who, who wants to find this useful, when it when um being uncooperative can then transfer into being into obstructing the course of justice okay so i'm going to tell you the ways in which you can obstruct the course of justice and then you can 
determine how you're going to behave next time you are, have been stopped by a police officer. And we're not talking about one of these crazy American ones who's got guns. We're talking about hopefully people who are reasonable, policemen who are reasonable and who, are, who you're able to have a conversation with without them fear, feeling fearful and threatened just by your presence. We're hoping that these are the police officers that you're dealing with. Okay, everyone has rights when we are stopped by the police. The police, the right to remain silent, the right to refuse to be searched, or the right to not have your property searched without a warrant, the right to a phone call if you've been arrested, and obstruction of justice is a broad term that covers various crimes against the administration against the administration of justice. But a simple failure to cooperate generally shouldn't constitute obstruction of justice unless, of course, it's a young, aggressive and excitable black youth. And then it can be. Trump has said that people of colour, immigrants, are not eligible to due process. And while it's not stated in the UK, it is implied in the behaviour of police sometimes that have that the same perception applies. So how can black youths navigate the situation? Well, obstruction, obstructing the course of justice can be lying, resisting arrest, failing to cooperate, misleading the law, interfering with evidence, like, I mean, supposing you have a spliff on you and you decide to fling it, throw it out of the window or try to hide it. Um, failing to cooperate, that could be um, not offering your name and your address and stuff like that. Even though you're entitled to withhold that information, it could be perceived as not cooperating with the police. Resisting arrest, just trying to get yourself in some kind of comfortable position, that could be perceived as resisting arrest. If they're holding you too tight or if the handcuffs are too tight and you're trying to struggle and get yourself in some kind of comfortable position, that can be considered as resisting arrest. Lying, like I said, first of all, tell them your age, your different age, different name, you know, the car's yours when it's not yours, you're not using your driving license, lots of different things. All can all constitute obstructing the course of justice. Um, interfering with or inter influencing or intimidating a witness in a criminal case. Some people they know who who set who set them up or who squealed on them or whatever it is, and then they go over to them and say, "Look, you know, if you do this or if you um, if you." I don't even know what they might say, to be honest. It's hard for me to imagine. But, you know, supposing somebody um, is a witness and you know them, you can always, if you was to go knock on their door and say, look, if you dare say anything that's going to incriminate me, I'm going to get you. That kind of stuff. That's interfering with, influencing and intimidating a witness, as if it's in a criminal case. That's obstructing the course of justice. Bribing a judge, well, I don't think any of our young people are in a position to do that, but there may be people who are in that position, and that would be the same thing. Uh, picketing outside a court to influence decisions, you know, I think... With Tommy Robinson, you know, a lot of people have been hanging around the courts. Um, you know, if it if it's going to obstruct and check top, you know, trying to force a change in decision, that can be considered obstructing the course of justice. <sighs> so it would appear to me, in order to co cooperate with the police, that a black person would have to waive his rights to refuse to be searched and the right to stay silent in order not to be accused of obstructing or perverting the course of justice. But then by obliging, they could be incriminating themselves because they do not have legal representation. So it's very, very difficult. Um, I'm not sure how this can be solved until we have law enforcers who behave correctly and treat civilians, regardless of race and colour, fairly. 
um, false allegations will continue. And our youth will continue to be criminalised through no fault of their own. So I just used, wanted to run that by you. Um, it's just a short and sweet one. I, nevertheless, I do think it's important because I've wondered about it. And I'm not in that situation. But I, I you know, sometimes when even when you watch films and you think to yourself, at what point? Is it obstructing the course of justice? You know, when the police are manhandling you and then that is what they say. That is one of the reasons that they write down. You know, they're treating you badly and you're trying to, you know, not be treated badly. And then that's what they'll say because you're not allowing them to treat, the, to treat you badly. They're saying you're obstructing the course of justice. So you really can't win, can you? Anyway, that's all for now. Bye bye.